We here at Ohio Citizen Action have some very important news to share with you about Citizens Not Politicians Constitutional Amendment, now known as Issue 1, which looks to end gerrymandered legislative districts in Ohio. Last week, Secretary of State Frank LaRose and members of the Ohio Ballot Board met to vote on the language that will appear on your ballot in November 2024. And they are using every trick in the book to try and hold on to their power. But we're not going to let them. The language approved by the ballot board is not a fair and accurate representation of what Issue 1 will be. Issue 1 will ban gerrymandering, making it impossible for extreme politicians to manipulate voting districts to protect their interests and guarantee their re-election. But the ballot language approved last week uses loaded and purposefully misleading language to confuse voters. They will stop at nothing to continue their stranglehold on the legislative powers of the state. In the words of a Case Western Reserve law and political science professor, quote, there is no universe that I am aware of in which that document satisfies the legal requirement that the ballot language contains a fair and accurate summary of the proposal. For that reason, the Citizens Not Politicians campaign filed a lawsuit on Monday afternoon in the Ohio Supreme Court against the dishonest and illegal ballot language. Regardless of what happens in the court, it is critical to remember that changes to the language that appear on the ballot in November does not change the language of the actual constitutional amendment. Issue 1 would still remove politicians and lobbyists from the process of drawing legislative districts. It would still put a 15-member citizen redistricting commission in charge of developing fair and representative maps. It will ensure that Ohioans will finally elect their lawmakers rather than allowing lawmakers to pick and choose their voters. Republicans, Democrats, and independents from all 88 counties signed the petition to put this issue on the ballot because they know it's time for a change. This blatant attempt at rigging the election through manipulative ballot language is a slap in the face to every one of these Ohio voters that signed the petition. Some good news is, is that the awful ballot board language and attempt by Frank LaRose to mislead voters has backfired. It has energized supporters and increased volunteers. We at Ohio Citizen Action will keep you posted on the status of the lawsuit, but in the meantime, please help us spread the word and vote yes on issue one in November.